In this video, we'll focus on the steps proposed for the mechanism for the Nozaki Hiyama Kishi reaction, with a particular focus on the role of nickel as a catalyst and how it transmetallates with chromium to actually do the Grignard type of reaction. Moving to the bottom part of this page, the mechanism begins with purely inorganic chemistry in which nickel in the plus two oxidation state in the presence of chromium in the plus two oxidation state undergoes electron transfer to produce nickel zero and chromium in the plus three oxidation state. This can be predicted to some extent by considering reduction potentials for nickel and for chromium. Recall that the more negative reduction potentials are associated with stronger reducing agents, agents that are more likely to give up an electron. Chromium-2 and nickel-0 are both reducing agents, but chromous ion, or chromium in the plus-2 oxidation state, is a stronger reducing agent than nickel in the zero oxidation state. Chromium has to give up its electrons to something, so it gives up its electrons to nickel in the plus-2 oxidation state, and we end up with nickel zero and chromium in the plus three oxidation state as favored in this equilibrium. Consider also the relative electronegativities of the three elements involved in this redox reaction. We'll discuss this in class. Turning to the next page of the worksheet, The organic bromide now reacts with nickel zero to give an organonickel bromide intermediate. In class, we'll review what mechanistic type of reaction this is and the oxidation state of nickel in the product of this reaction. Once the organonickel bromide is generated, this then reacts with chromium trichloride to generate an organochromium dichloride intermediate and nickel dihalide as a mixture of bromine and chlorine. In class, we'll review which mechanism is occurring here and make a prediction as to which side of the equilibrium may be favored. Continuing down the worksheet to the last stage of the mechanism, as the organochromium dihalide is formed, it will react with the aldehyde to give a chromium alkoxide upon carbon-carbon bond formation. In class, we'll make a prediction regarding which side of the equilibrium is favored. To review what we've seen with the catalytic cycle, the conversion of nickel-2 to nickel-0 was covered in part A The reaction with the organic bromide was covered in part B. Reaction with chromium trichloride is covered in part C. And then reaction with the aldehyde is covered in part D. This concludes this video 
on the catalytic cycle of the Nozaki-Hiyama-Kishi reaction.